Hello friends, welcome. So in today's video, I have a flip through for you since it's flip through Friday. I haven't done one of these uh, in a couple weeks now. And so yeah, I wanted to share with you this recipe junk journal that I had made over a year ago now. And it's a chunky one. As you can see here, I think they call it what an alligator's mouth. Um, that's when like opens like really wide and yeah it's it's pretty stuffed um and i just made a cover for it so um i hand stitched this uh cover and yeah so i'm gonna show you what it looks like inside and it just slides off like so and then this is uh the front cover of the journal it's a hardcover journal and I just added a few little gems to the front, uh, some stickles, and I also do have an eyelet there so that way you can add a uh, tassel or any other kind of beads or jewels. And it is three signatures. And so all the details um, will be in the description box below if anyone's interested. Um, this is going to be a quick one, so I kind of, I'm going to go through this pretty fast um so I, I use the glossy accents for a lot of uh the detailing here on the fruits and throughout the journal so I was just showing you there the glossy accents that I used um again everything that I used or that you may see or whatnot all the details will be in the description box below and so you may have seen a video of me uh, previously doing these uh, guest checks, the altered guest checks. So yeah, I'll also go link that video below as well. It's just a bunch of guest checks throughout the recipe book. And yeah, they may be familiar if you've seen that before. If not, then I'll go ahead and link that if you're interested in checking that out as well. And um, a lot of these pieces, like that, that one there was from... Um, the uh, Frank Garcia uh, Milkshake Collection by Prima. And so, yeah. Oh, there's also these uh, hidden pockets as well. There's like a little journaling card there. And so someone may have seen this video or, or this book in a previous video and inquired about it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be selling this specific journal just because I did invest a lot of time into this specific journal uh, for myself, but I am willing and open to um, work with anyone. Um, if you have a specific uh, journal in mind, or if you would be interested in something very similar to this, uh, just let me know your price points and I'm willing to work with anyone as well. So my email is also in the description box below. If anyone is interested, you can just message me. And yeah. My Etsy is also listed below as well, and I should be having um, some more items in there this weekend. I'm working on um, getting some embossed papers and a couple of other things, so yeah. So, you can see here throughout, I did make these little recipe cards. They're front and back. They're pretty thick, actually, those little ones, because I combined like 110 card... Uh, pound paper and like stitched around them on both sides so it's really thick and then again here I made these uh recipe uh cards just using index cards and I just inked around them and sewed them and then added those little tabs that came in the collection and then I recently just got this cute little um wax seal with the little milkshake on it I thought it went well in my journal and I'm always adding new things to this journal like I said I've made this over a year ago and I'm always adding things and like I never feel like this specific journal is complete um, I haven't written in it or done anything else with it because I've just felt like it needed more and like I'm always working on it but I did want to share uh, what I've completed so far in it and I haven't worked in it like every single day for a year it's just I go back and forth um, yeah, I take time and, um, yeah, and whenever I'm, um, 
inspired to work in this book then I go ahead and work in it and add different things to it from time to time so it's still a work in progress I have a lot of other things that I've like taken out and put in and taken out so yeah it's one of those one of those things um but yeah lots of ephemera journaling space journaling cards um these uh, altered guest checks that I've made in a previous video and yeah I just um really enjoyed this collection the uh Frank Garcia milkshake collection and then a lot of these papers I um got from uh, our printables and I'll have all the information uh below as well and then here I just have this little fabric scraps and um you may have seen this one again um in another video so i just made it into like a little book with a bunch of uh guest check uh sheets there you could just kind of write notes or lists or whatever you have there and yeah just lots of uh recipe cards and journaling space where you can just you know write different kind of uh recipes that come to mind or different things and what have you and these journaling cards i kind of made into like a little pocket as well so you can add things into the journaling card i mean not journaling cards excuse me the uh recipe cards those big ones and then here um i got from happy mail a bunch of um different kind of recipes so i just put them here in this pocket thank you everyone who sent me recipes uh, for my journal and here I just made this little uh, mitten into a shaker really cute and some more journal uh, more recipe cards plain ones to write on some more journaling cards and ephemera some more uh, vintage um, recipes there and yeah I had a lot of fun making this journal. I actually made one um, for my niece. Very, very similar for the holidays. I gifted it to her because she actually has um, a little baking business or bakery. She makes like uh, treats and what have you. And so I thought this would be a great gift for her um, to store all her like favorite uh, recipes in there and what have you. And so, yeah, after I made one for her, I was like, oh my god, I fell in love with it. It was so fun, and I wanted to make one for myself as well. And so, yeah, you can see all the little pockets. They're full with recipe cards and just lots of ephemera and little things to uh, decorate with. And then this little envelope I got from Happy Mail as well. You know who you are who sent it to me. Thank you so much. And... Then I just made some more uh, recipe cards there, blank ones out of um, index cards and just sewed around it. And yeah, just more cute little cards there as you can see. And some more like uh, vintage recipes there as well that was sent to me in Happy Mail. And yeah, this paper is just so pretty. Everything went so nicely. And so that's it. That's the end of the book. And I hope you all enjoyed it and was inspired to um, maybe add some things to your recipe journals or maybe make a new recipe journal yourself. Um, I think this is really fun and I think these are great to like pass on uh, to family and what have you. And they're really nice gifts um, for the holidays. Like I said, I gifted one to my niece and... I just hope that she treasures it because I really enjoyed making it for her. And yeah, I, I I think these are awesome and I really, really had a lot of fun. So I'm just showing you the measurements here. Um, and I'm always adding to it, like I said. I mean, it's always a work in progress. I feel like no journals really complete. I haven't had one that I felt like it was just really finished you know I just feel like they're always you can always add to them I mean this one is really really chunky so I don't know how much more it can fit but um yeah 
I don't mind it being chunky. I know some people don't like that, but I, I enjoy it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. Bye.